Hi, and welcome to Assets Tech Tips. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about downloading files from FilesTube using a RapidShare account. Now, I'm going to do this tutorial for people who know what RapidShare is about and also for the people who are not sure what RapidShare is about and give you a little bit of an inside look as to what it is, how it works and so on. So first off, what is RapidShare? Well, RapidShare is the option to download stuff really quickly. And to give you a look at it, here we are. So this is your main page. To sign up for a RapidShare account, which you will need in order to download using RapidShare, it's extremely easy and doesn't cost you anything. Pop in your username, your email address, confirm, put in your password, confirm your password. Yes, I've read the terms and conditions basically saying that no, I'm not going to download any copyright material because copyright's a crime and we don't like supporting the pirates. <laughs> And then you click on register now. Once you've done that, you should be able to log into your account. I'm going to quickly log into a test account that I've made to show you guys what a, an inside of a RapidShare account looks like. So to log in, you stick your details up in here once you have your account. And this is what your inside of the account looks like. Not very different. Now, this is a standard account. It'll download at the slow speed you don't have to pay for it. It's pretty awesome. You've got the option now to download using RapidShare files without having to spend anything. However, it will be a little slower. If you want to get those extremely fast downloads, you'll need to get a Rapid Pro account. Now to do that, unfortunately, this will require you spending a little bit of money, but not that much. A Rapid Pro account costs 495 Rapids. Rapids are the currency that RapidShare uses. As you can see, for less than six euros, you can have Rapid Pro. That's pretty cool. Now, of course, the more you buy, the cheaper it's going to be. But if you just want to test it out, I'd say start off here, just so that you can see what the speeds are, because RapidShare is heavily dependent on your internet connection. So if you've got a really slow internet connection, it might not be worth downloading anything at all therefore having a pro account would be a waste of money but if you've got a good internet connection and you want to be able to download faster than anything else I've ever seen this is definitely the way to go for it because RapidShare offers bandwidth that exceeds your internet connection therefore when you download you download at your internet connections full capacity so whatever your internet connection is as fast as it can handle that's as fast as you're going to download in my case 25 megs and 25 megs a second is damn fast so now you've got your account you're wondering well how do I download with RapidShare well how you download with RapidShare is you search for something in a search engine like Google so a good example would be let's say the movie Hot Fuzz which is awesome by the way Stick in RapidShare at the end, click on search, you get loads of links. Cool, but there's not an awful lot you can do to refine your search. Sometimes you go in and you'll notice that the files might have been removed or it's like um, a diversion giving you a redirect to some stupid website where you see all of this kind of crap. And uh, I don't really like that, therefore I like to use a brilliant website called FilesTube. This is Files Tube. Take your time. Okay, here we are, Files Tube. Now, Files Tube is basically the Google for searching for files. Um, when I say files, I'm talking about software, movies, music, television. So, to give you the same example I just did, we'll go again Hot Files. And here we are. Now, we've got a RapidShare account, not a Filesonic account or a Whoop Load account or any of that. So, to refine our search a little better, we'll stick RapidShare in at the end. And here we've got our RapidShare files. 
Now, one of the reasons why I really like Files Tube is because it tells you where you're getting it from, the file extension of the file, how many parts there are to the file, the size. You're, you're given a lot of information. So, seven parts, 699 megs. You pop in, you've got your seven parts, you've got your 699 megs. Pretty awesome. Now, to download, you click on one of the links. You're going to need to log in now. Unfortunately, I'm already logged in. So let me just show you that again. We log out. We click on a link. We're brought to Rapid Share. This is what you're going to see. So this is when you. This is what you're going to see the first time you click on the download link. It won't happen for every download link because once you've logged in, it'll remember you've logged in. So every time you click on a download link, it'll just bring you straight to the. Do you want to save this file? But to show you what I'm talking about, we're going to log in again. Here we go. Now, you've got the option of going Pro. So if you already have Pro, you're done. You just close the window down, go back, click Download. If you're not, you'll have to do the slow, the slow download, which means clicking on the link every time and clicking on Slow Download. But at least you have the option of downloading RapidShare files slowly. When you have a Pro account, once you've done this here, what's going to happen is you just close down this window click on the link again and you will be brought to your download screen so this is what you'll see now what you can do is you can go let's just move that over there part two three four five six seven you can see they're loading and once they finish loading to ensure you're keeping your bandwidth open, you can close down your screens. You don't even need to have your rapid share screen open. And then you just keep clicking OK. And that will start your download for you. And then depending on the speed of your internet connection, you'll have hot fuzz. Now, I don't want to download hot fuzz because that would be uh, piracy. And we don't want to support piracy because copyright infringement is a crime. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you some files that I downloaded earlier. Uh, for this example, I downloaded a lovely clock. This lovely clock happened to be freeware, not breaking any laws here. And as we saw in RapidShare, we have a couple of links so I downloaded those few files those few links here we are we can see them one two three four five six now if you're going to use rapid share and files tube to download files you're going to need two tools one you'll use all the time the other one not so much and those tools are WinRAR and HJ split both freeware software won't cost you anything not breaking any laws. To get them, go to Google and type in HJ Split. This is an awesome little tool, quite a powerful little handy tool to have, if I might add. Click on Windows and you should have your download locations. So just click on one of them here and you can see small little file, takes two seconds to download it should not be any more than there there we go 200 kilobits so you'll have it in a couple of seconds I'm not going to download it again because I already have it but for WinRAR just to show you WinRAR also free and non illegal and here we go we click download and you've got all the different files for Unix, Linux, Mac blah 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 different languages and so on what you want is these ones here check if your machine is 32-bit by going to my computer properties and you'll see somewhere on this page it'll say 64 or 32 so whatever you have download once you've downloaded it you'll start to notice that your files will get a little RAR icon now files that end in 00 one zero zero two 
are the HJ split files. So in order to get these together, we're going to use HJ split. Now this is the program and it is as simple to use as it is to download. We want to join. Where is the file? The file is in my downloads. Just the first one is shown so I click on it and it'll automatically put the output to the same folder. And now we can see our RAR file. So now we're going to use WinRAR just by double clicking on it to show us the file. There it is there. And literally just drag and drop. And that's it. Give it a second to extract. And now we have our lovely clock, which I shall give you a preview of. Woohoo! I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Please do leave comments. If you have any questions or if you're stuck, send us an email. Thank you for watching everybody. Take care.